Carla Silver here, super excited to be here with you today. I obviously have something on my mind. Um, if you are here and you've joined me already, please give me a thumbs up or a hello or something in the chat so that I know you are there. I am going live in Clever Marketers. And if you are new to Clever Marketers, super excited that you are here. This is our free marketing support group for Clever marketers, <laughs> for network marketers and people in direct sales that are looking to learn modern, modern, modern marketing methods to grow their businesses and their teams. My name is Carla Silver. I help network marketers just like you uh, build and automate their businesses online so you can rank up, make more money, but most importantly, spend more time with the people you love most in your life. So if somebody would in the chat, let me know that I am live. If you're watching this on YouTube, smash the subscribe button. Um, we'd love to, uh, and follow us. If you decide you hate what you see, you can always unsubscribe, but want to make sure that you, we get you all the goodness that you possibly can. There is Tiffany Hunt and Nancy Lewis Hill, uh, key members of Carla Town. If you haven't connected with uh, Tiffany and or Nancy, please do so ASAP so that we can find out how we can help you um, build your business, business the fastest, maybe point you to resources that we have here inside of Clever Marketers uh, so that you can take advantage of what we already have uh, created for you as far as free training, etc. Hey, Karen. Hey, Gloria. Dawn. Uh, good to see everybody. Guys, I have something on my mind. Uh, first of all, um, before I get there, oh, oh my goodness, the comments are coming in fast and furiously. Um, I'll say, and again, please connect with uh, Tiffany and uh, Nancy, uh, Tiffany most especially, because she'll be able to give you a tour guide of what's, what's here and what other resources that we have all over the place uh, to help you grow your business. So guys, in the, Cheryl, good to see you. Um, in the chat, let me know how your month is going. At the time I'm recording this, it's the middle of August, 2022, and I am um, I'm interested in um, how are you how are you going this month? And the reason why is that I'm super passionate about this. I'm going to get to my topic in a second, but because of the time of year it is, you should be planting seeds, planting, 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 connecting uh, all the things that I'm going to talk about in my live today. Because come September, um, we just did. Um, Come September, that's when we have an opportunity to really make hay as far as recruiting is concerned in our business. And uh, I want you to be able to reap the benefits of that. So keep your pedal to the metal. Uh, keep planting those seeds. Keep um, doing the things that you need to do to elevate your visibility, to create more um, uh, uh, followers, leads, and sales in your business, of course. So um, anybody else have any questions before we get started? Um, let put them in the chat. I will definitely get back to you or uh, Nancy and or um, Tiffany will be able to get back to you too. Also, I'll say this a couple of times as people are coming on at, uh, throughout my live today. I am going to, I have some updated information and I am going to be conducting my one year to 100K masterclass next week. I think it is, is that next week? No. Thank goodness. <laughs> right? Today is the 11th, I hope, not the 18th. Um, yeah, today's the 11th. In uh, two weeks from today, I will be conducting my one year to 100K masterclass. I'm going to be spending the two weeks between now and then um, updating some of the information. Just things keep changing so quickly uh, for network marketers, for marketing, for social marketing, for the ways we get results in our businesses that I want to make sure that you're all updated on that. So if you are looking to create or your first or your next 100K or you're looking to step up um, in, in your business, uh, make sure you register for that. In order to get the information for that, comment lead, not leads, lead in the comments and um, Tiffany and or Nancy or somebody We'll get the information to you on how to register for that. The registration isn't quite open yet, but um, we'll get we'll be make sure to take care of you. But so make sure you're um, as as we say in as I'm saying in this at this time. Uh, many people will watch this over the next few days and over the weekend, so don't sweat it. Um, uh, it it's all set up. Don't worry about it. Just comment lead 
if uh, you want us to get you information. So I, um, I want to explain why I am, um, I'm going to go on a little rant today. As a matter of fact, I will say um, the, the rant today will be less than it would have been last week. <laughs> um, a little insight into my personality. When I get mad or I get frustrated about something, um, my I will get mad or frustrated like for two seconds and then I'm over it. <laughs> and so ever since this, I really, I really got worried and I got mad about a couple things that I've seen so many places, including our, all of our programs and in some of the other programs that I'm in, um, I really should have gone live right then because now I'm like, I don't know, I'm not feeling it. But I spent a couple minutes reviewing some things before I got on here. And I just want to say this is because I'm not like because I'm my usual personality, bubbly personality, it doesn't mean that these things aren't super serious. I am 100 percent serious about what I'm going to be sharing with you today. And I'm 100 percent serious that if you resonate with any of these, you've got some work to do. And all of us do, frankly. This is not something leadership and um, being a leader is something that is luckily it is learned. It's not something that you're necessarily, you. I don't believe you're even born with it at all. It's a learned process and you must learn to lead in all the capacities that I'm talking about today in the conversation that we're going to have or you will not sign up anyway. Period. The end. And the reason that I am upset about this is that I've seen I just so many beautiful, valuable, dynamic women and men, but mostly women here, frankly, I, I frankly, I serve women primarily that have so much potential that are squandering so much time, literally throwing time away and sometimes throwing money away at this training or that training or this 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 thing that might fix everything and they're spending so much time learning stuff when the problem stems from what's going on inside i um I, those of you that are members of our top producer mastermind know that we focus a lot on what's happening in here because we, we can teach you all the things. Guys, and some of you are in our mastermind. You guys know, right? We can teach you all the things. I can teach you how to generate leads and make sales in your sleep using the whiz-bang, boo-boo, this thing, that from over there and, and all that stuff. But until you get what has been on my heart right now and is really bugging me, um, until you get this and incorporate this and solve this problem, you teaching us teaching you and you finding all the things all over the place is a total waste of your time. Well, I don't want to say total waste of your time, but it'll get you this far, but it won't even help you recruit your first person. So again, if you're just joining me, say hi <laughs> in the chat. And um, I have a question for you. Are you, are you, is anyone feeling stuck? Right? Is anyone that's listening to my voice feeling stuck? Are you feeling stuck in the fact that uh, maybe you haven't been able to recruit your first person or you haven't, um, haven't been able to build your team or you um, are, or maybe you're just confused. Like if, if that, any of you is there, um, raise your hands or raise your virtual hands because there's a couple of things that uh, you must shift. And uh, some of the things, by the way, might, that I, I'm going to share with you today might feel, make you feel uncomfortable. So Heidi says, yeah, you know what? Congratulations, Heidi. And, and just saying, being out there and saying, yeah, I'm stuck. Because the people that are not out there saying and are stuck, that aren't raising their hands, that are sitting back, looking and thinking, oh, my God, are lurking, that are out there going, I don't know, I don't know, I, I don't know, I, I shouldn't raise my hand. Those, it's you that I'm talking to the most. So I want to say this. Your success does not take any time at all. Now, yes, growing a six-figure network marketing business isn't going to happen necessarily in a year. Um, it might take a couple years to get there in the beginning because you have adjustments and things you need to learn along the way. And creating a seven-figure income isn't going to happen, and it certainly isn't going to happen in a year without some basic things and understanding. 
um, in your heart and some level of leadership. And I'm talking about leadership today, but all of this stems from all the places in your head where um, you are not leading yourself. So in order for you to move forward, you have to show up in a different way. I arrived in network marketing thinking I was all that, that I had all of this stuff, but I was starting, I, that was in corporate America, but I was starting from a place where I really didn't know anything about network marketing. I hadn't been an entrepreneur before, and that is a completely different place than somebody that's been an entrepreneur that can transfer their self-confidence, their leadership, those, those skills, right into another entrepreneurial opportunity. So again, success does not take time, it takes courage. It takes courage to become an entrepreneur. It takes courage to develop new beliefs about what is possible for you. I thought that I had those beliefs about what was possible. Yeah, I'm gonna make a million dollars, but I didn't have the beliefs, some of the beliefs that I'm gonna share with you today that created the massive difference between no results and a crap ton of results. Again, no results and a crap ton of results. So it takes courage to become an entrepreneur. It takes courage to develop that new belief of what is possible for you. It takes courage to learn new things. It takes courage to get good at social and get yourself out there and create visibility. It, it takes courage, and this is the big one, to step up and claim your throne. Now, I'm not talking about becoming a influencer or the queen of social media. That belongs to Mari Smith. There, I'm not talking about that. It's to claim, create your, claim your throne and your certainty in what you do, the, the, the transformation that you provide, the skill set that you have, etc. And if you are not 100% confident, you will not be able to lead someone to the next step, even if it's just into your sales funnel or giving you their email address or even contacting you. And that's where this simple adjustment, this simple, this simple movement, this simple um, uh, switch that must go off in your head, that, that's what I'm talking about today. And it, it is simple, yet it's almost impossible to see unless someone points it out to you. And that's the, the customer service. That's the service I am really attempting to um, provide to you today is that service. Because here is what happens. You see briefly that something is possible for you. Yes, I can create another $1,000 a week. I can recruit people. I, I can because it is possible, right? It is possible. But what happens is you begin on your journey and you run into some obstacles and and something gets in your way because you're doing something and I don't want to talk all about the, the comfort zone, the uncomfort zone, the terror barrier. Most of you are already familiar with that, but you're hitting up against that terror barrier and you're moving through it because you're anytime you're doing something new, it's on the other side of some version of your subconscious trying to keep you safe. And that's your that's the terror barrier. I don't like to say terror either because we don't feel terror, right? We feel a little uncomfortable. And most people are unwilling to deal with the initial discomfort that it takes to create what you want. And then they get uncomfortable, you get uncomfortable, and you retreat right back to where you are now. You get uncomfortable and retreat right back to where you are right now. I have had so many um, conversations as I've moved through my various terror barriers, as I've moved through my, um, my ability to lead, my ability to, and you guys will too, right? You're gonna, right after that terror barrier is another terror barrier. And you're always gonna wanna jump back to your current state. But how many of you are listening to me right now? Oh, I am getting on a rant. I feel like coming. How many of you right now want to move through that? Give me a heck yes, I do in the chat. I want to move through. I want to have the skills. I want to have the confidence. I want to have the, the peace of mind to know that I can constantly get, and you must, you constantly get uncomfortable so that I can have the results I want. How many of you say, I'm, I'm ready to get uncomfortable? Say, I do, yes, me.
Because if you're not, being an entrepreneur, ugh, I'm going to say it is not for you. You're not going to get any different results. You're not going to create it's the same with anything. If you want to lose weight, you want to you want to run a marathon, you want to create something, you must be uncomfortable. So one of the things that I did along the way was like, what am I doing today to get myself uncomfortable? You got to be super comfortable with being uncomfortable. It is uncomfortable being an entrepreneur. It is uncomfortable when you're first learning to lead until you develop the certainty and the knowing that you can do a certain thing. Does that make sense? That you knew do a certain thing. So there's a couple of things that I want to point out today that maybe will resonate with you. Let me know. Let me know in the chat for sure. I see a ton of me, me, me's. Yes, me. I do. Heck yeah. Yeah. So I respect your enthusiasm, but it's the things that we do in the quiet of our mornings and throughout our days, because we're all working basically by ourselves and out of our home office that are going to mean the difference between um, success and failure. And I don't want any of you to fail at anything that you do. So the one thing that I want you to think about is, um, well, let me tell you a quick story. So I did arrive in network marketing with some leadership skills, but I had zero certainty on recruiting on could I help someone how many people and let's just have an honesty moment here how many of you um, say in the chat and if you're watching on YouTube you can put stuff in the chat I will respond to it but um, not right at this hot moment I won't <laughs> but if um, uh, say in the chat that sometimes I'm uh, uh, how many of you feel uncertain about how to create, uh, how to recruit someone, or uncertain about, uh, can I get that person's, can I create success stories with the people that get started with me? How many people are uncertain about what it takes? Are you uncertain about what it takes to um, create a, a $2,000 a month income in your business? Do you understand your comp plan? How many of you are uncertain about how to prospect somebody? Uh, how many of you are uncertain about key components in your business? So I'll tell you a quick story. I did arrive with some leadership. I had led teams in corporate America. But again, that doesn't always switch over into being an entrepreneur. It actually doesn't switch over into entrepreneurship because this is a completely different animal. It's like saying, I am really great at Pilates, but suddenly I want to take up ballet. You might be fit, but you can't do, you can't just switch, right? It just doesn't work that way because um, they're just two different animals. So when I first got started, I was terrible at prospecting and I had to prospect on the phone. I know, I know, I know this is a really long time ago, but I had to prospect on the phone. So luckily the company that I was with we could listen in, um, we could listen in on the phone on a conference call to one of the leaders um, prospecting. We could actually listen to her call her leads. So how cool was that? So I would listen to this call, I would listen to the call, and then that would give me the, the cojones <laughs> to actually hang up and then call my prospects because my prospects were basically waiting for my call. So. I, I still had trouble picking up the phone. So I had to prospect them on the phone. And um, I went to an event because that's what leaders do. Even though I was not a leader, I went to an event and I had met this, this leader. I had put myself out there. Guys, remember, I'm a huge introvert. Like, ugh, I don't like going to events. I want to be invited to all of them, but I didn't want to go. Now I love going to events. That's a whole different story. So I went to this event and I met her, I introduced myself to her and I said, I love your, your prospecting calls. Thank you for doing that, blah, blah, blah. So one day, I guess the person that was taking intros for her didn't show up. So she asked me if I could take intros for her on that call. And all that is, is like welcoming people to the call and then muting them <laughs> and introducing her, right? That all, all that is. So that was pretty easy. They gave you a script. I read the script. I welcomed people on the call and I introduced her and then I put myself on mute. And um, I guess something happened. Uh, 
Like I was just a filler. Like she happened to say, hey, Carla, can you take interest on this call? Whatever. So I guess the person, I don't know what happened, but I ended up taking intros for a, a, a few weeks. Well, one time she didn't show up to the call. I am nobody. I am nobody. As a matter of fact, I, well, we had regular phones, right? I'm, I'm like taking intros, taking intros, taking intros. And here is Wendy Stevens. And Wendy Stevens wasn't there. And I put myself on mute. And I'm like, what am I going to do? I, I'm like, having the biggest heart attack in the world. But this was my first big leadership move. And I realized that this pays off over and over again. Do you think I was uncomfortable? I took, went to Don and I'm like, oh, Wendy's not there. What do I do? I can't just hang up. I guess we could hang up on the call. And I'm like, he goes, you have leads. Call your leads. Like, what do you mean me call my leads? What do you mean me call my leads? So I literally threw up in my mind because I could have, I was throwing up in my mind. I closed my eyes and I stepped out. And that was the first time I stepped out into leadership. I crossed a, now I'm not saying that you have to do this, but, and you can't because nobody does anything on the phone anymore. You can't cross off over into leadership this way, but where can you? Where can you use your voice and use you to lead? Where can you? So I've got a couple things I want to share with you that might be, help you move forward into um, your own leadership because you must become a leader. You, no one is going to, st is to follow you into your business unless you lead them there. They're not just going to miraculously say, oh my God, um, Joni is the best person in the world. I'm going to call her or I'm going to message her, find out what she does, get all the information and get started with her. That's not how it works. You are a tour guide. People are going to show up and you're going to say, where do you want to go? And you have got to show them the way. It doesn't happen like some miracle just by posting on social. So the first thing, the first problem that I see with so many, um, so many uh, amazing entrepreneurs out there is that your, your self-image, the way you see yourself, does not match your goals. How many of you have a big goal set for yourself? Do you think that the way you're looking at your way you look at yourself now, if you're uncertain about anything, matches that? Matches that at all? You must, your, your way you see yourself must match your goals. The way you see yourself must match your goals. I'm going to say it a million times. How you, the, the, the way your prospects show up, the amount of money you're able to make, the stuff that's directly result in your results, if nobody can see that, it's, it's a re reflection of how you see yourself. I want you to look like you're the real deal and you can move forward in amazing truth. We cannot outperform who we believe we are. So if you believe that... I don't, if you, the things you say absolutely reveal your belief. I don't have a big team. I don't, I haven't recruited anyone. I, I am brand new. Stop it. You must change the things that you say to yourself in order to change the way you feel about yourself, the things you believe in your, believe about yourself so that other people can catch that belief and shit and, and, and catch that belief and follow you. So I know that I was exposed to an idea called be, do, have when I first got started as an entrepreneur because we're, we're taught it and uh, uh, we're taught this concept backwards. Typically here, I can't speak for other company countries, but here in the United States, we're typically taught this backwards. And it's like, hey, I, here's what I, um, we're taught in order to have something, we must have it so we can be do have so we we need to do something to have it to be it so you need to do something to uh, become that national sales director and get those results right no you have it's exactly the opposite you have to be that leader first who what are you trying to create who are you looking to become you can decide right now to be that person right now it now, you will take some time convincing your subconscious. That takes time. But you have to, you have to brainwash yourself 
it, in order to become that leader, in order to lead. So if you want to be a great leader and that, who, whoever your future self is, maybe it's a double diamond, maybe it's a blue diamond, maybe it's a national sales director. How does that person think? How does that person, how does that person be? So there's some things that I did along the way, and I've done this over and over again. I, I, I told myself, I am an amazing leader. Did I have self-doubt in my head? Um, maybe you're not. You don't know how, you're not leading that many people. Of course, but I told myself over and over and over again that I am an amazing leader, that I know what to do. I am the kind of woman that attracts serious business builders. I told myself that people, that people, my, my avatar, the person that's attracted that I want in my business, see me as someone who can solve their problems. These are things that you can say to yourself over and over and over again to create that belief and certainty in your mind so that people will follow you. I help, uh, again, I help network marketers rank up, make more money, and spend more so they can spend more time with their, their, um, the people they love most in their lives. I have said that so many times. Well, I believed it when I, when I put it together because I knew I had done it. But it comes, it's backwards. You have to have that belief first. You have to become in alignment with the truth. And then you'll get the results. You have to do it backwards from the way we're taught. So unless you elevate that identity, how you see yourself, and there's all kinds of ways to do that. First of all, I just told you, make up a couple of things that, that are true for your future self, that amazing woman that you are creating that has those results that you want and tell yourself those things over and over and over and over again. That way you're leading yourself first and then you'll get the results because you must believe that you can get results for somebody or else nobody's going to get started with you to get those results. So let's start there. Number two, you're still playing small. You're still playing small. And um, I'm going to give you so a litmus test. You're playing, uh, you're playing small, and I know this because, number, I'll give you a whole bunch of things. I wrote them all down here. You're not speaking up on lives. Maybe it's lives. Uh, maybe it's Zooms. You're not speaking up on team Zooms. You're not speaking up on your course Zooms. You're not speaking up. A leader speaks up. They make mistakes right there in front of everybody. They're not worried about it. They're speaking their piece. Um, or do you not have an opinion about something? Make you Say your opinions. Be out there with how you feel. You're in a program and you're not, you're focused on, uh, maybe you're in, I don't know, oh, there's a million courses out there. Maybe you're in some of ours. And you're focused on doing the learning, but you're not focused on making the mistakes and doing the implementation. Like, Again, I don't want, I want you to learn stuff. That's what I do. I teach, but you have to be out there messing up like leaders do. Messing up right there in front of everybody or in front of yourself. Be, be, if, you're, if you're worried about that, get inside of a mastermind or a mentorship program or a coaching program that offers you the support that you need to make those mistakes. Um, you're waiting, uh, maybe this is you, you're waiting till you have results in order to play big. Guys, it doesn't work that way. <laughs> You've got to play big first. You have to stop playing small. You have to start getting out there, doing the, doing the things imperfectly to get the results. You're not going to get the results and then be able to play big. The other thing, this is huge, and this is, this is not mental, uh, mental adjustment. If you don't understand your comp plan, if, if you don't understand, uh, if somebody gets started with you and they say, I want to make $1,000 a month, and you don't understand how to get there, go figure out your, you don't need to figure out your whole comp plan and how people get paid 20 million levels down. And it, at this level, you get that. Just understand how to create results for your new people. Do you know how much confidence that will give you? Just getting a comp plan. Um, how do you get someone started? If you don't understand exactly what the steps are to get someone started, that is holding you back right there. If you don't have your back office paid to get you uh, set up to get paid, that's holding you back right now. If you don't understand how to get someone to duplicate in your team, 
that's holding you back. And if you need answers to these uh, questions for some reason, if you don't understand how to do any or all or some of those things, get those answers roll up your con uh, roll up your upline until somebody can give you the exact answers on how to do those things so that you are super confident that if someone says to you i want to know what you do and how you do it that you know the steps to take them because i can't i can teach you how to automate that but you can't automate what you don't know how to do and if you don't know how to recruit i can't teach you how to automate how to recruit you've got to know how to do it, the exact steps so that you can lead someone through the process. Also, I also know when people aren't leading because they're not doing the work or they're not doing, they're not doing what they need to do. So get yourself out there, do the work part of understanding that relief that you will experience just by doing that will, will give you some leadership skills right then and there. The, uh, the third thing is, uh, which is I'm going to piggyback is that you lack clarity and understanding, right? So what does that mean? Um, you don't understand the value of, or, of what you have on your hands. And this is exactly leads into understanding everything. You got started in your business for a reason. You got started because you wanted to create an income that you loved the products and you wanted to duplicate. Then you saw the bigger, you wouldn't be in clever marketers here if you weren't looking to make a significant income in your network marketing business, if you weren't looking to make those, those leaps in your, in your understanding of yourself and in your leadership, um, you, wouldn't, uh, you wouldn't do that. And if you don't understand all the steps along the way and you're unclear, guess what? Um, uh, if you're not clear about something, then you're, you're unable to execute. So, oh, and I just want to say this. Well, I'll save that. And then lastly, <laughs> and this one is so obvious, maybe you guys are like, well, I, I'm, I'm this, I'm that, is, is that you lack enthusiasm. Like, I love what I do. I, get, I think you guys know that. I love what I do. Am I on all the time, like, like on like Donkey Kong all the time? No, I'm not. I like to be quiet and do my work and my be uh, do my stuff here but i am super enthusiastic about what i do i want to know in the chat we've got i don't know how many people on this live at this moment but how many of you love what you're doing that's one question how many of you are super enthusiastic about what about your business give me a love one a two for enthusiastic or a one and two. Give me in the in the chat. And I know I'm coming at you from the future. I'm talking fast. I'm a few minutes before everybody else. But you're the thing that you do must light you up. And your light must shine brightly enough that your prospect can see it. And the only way that you can do that is be by being enthusiastic. Like you don't have to be a a cuckoo for coconuts looney tune like some marketers are but if that's your that's your like there's some marketers out there that I'm like whoa that person is too bright for me man right like like dim it down I can't be around that personality it's great but some of you like what is it I do you love what you do if you don't love and you aren't crazy enthusiastic about the results that you can create for somebody then you've got to do what it takes to create those results internally for you to create that enthusiasm. The last thing I just want to say, oh, it just flew out of my head, is uh, other than just be, uh, be the leader. Oh, the last thing is, um, is just celebrate your wins. Because if you, this is hard shit. Excuse me, I'm just going to get right out there and say it. This is hard shit. Lose, excuse me, being a, um, an entrepreneur is not easy. Most of the stuff on growing a network marketing business, the pieces, there's a lot of pieces, but they're intrinsically easy. The hard work is doing the stuff inside. And one of the things that you can do to make your hard work easier is celebrating every single win along the way. Every single win. 
As a matter of fact, I just started this again. I was doing it um, a couple years ago, but I just started it again. I keep, a, I have a little brand new little notebook that I've started keeping over the past few weeks. I've started keeping a list, just a little thing. I, I log into it every day. And when I wake up, I put it near where I have my cup of coffee and I jot down a couple of wins because as women, we suck at this, <laughs> frankly, most of us. And I know this because pulling wins out of uh, the people in uh, my programs is tough. I had somebody the other day, she goes, yeah, I had three more people join my team. And I'm like, wait a second, you had five people join your team the week before. So that makes eight. Oh, yeah. Like those are huge results. But again, we have to celebrate the little tiny results as well. So here's what I have to say. You must step it up. Step it up. You must lead. You must work on getting over yourself. I have to get, I have to do this. This is not something that I'm saying just for you or for a select group of people. This is what I want to say to myself. Like sometimes I'm like, I just, I need to step it up. I have a mission. You do too. I have something to say. You do too. And I have a little bit more practice speaking in front of a camera by myself in my office, maybe than you do. But heck, there are a million things that you can do. Reels right now. You can get out there and do reels and generate piles and piles of leads. Nobody better tell me that they have trouble generating leads because there are a million and ones generating leads. And the reason that why you're not doing it is not because you don't know how. It's because you are not leading yourself. You're allowing your self-talk and your lack of a clarity and you are, you're going all over the place looking for that shiny object when it is sitting there right in front of you and it belongs right in here, right in here. Be the leader. Oh, when I first got started, I was talking to, um, I was, as a matter of fact, it was the owner of that company. And I'm like, I don't know what to do. I'm not getting the results that I want to get. I'm not getting the results that I want to get. And he's like, be the leader. And I'm like, what does that mean? I'm, oh, actually, my first reaction was, okay, I'll go and be the leader. And how many of you are like, okay, I, I'm going to go be the leader. Right? And then I would go off. I'd go home and I'd be like, I don't know what he's talking about. Like, what the? Up. I would curse. What is he talking about? I have no idea what the hell he's talking about. And then I would ask him again. And he would say, be the leader. I'm like, I need more than that. So I hope that I've given more, more than that, more of that to you today, because there are ways that you can, um, first of all, get comfortable with being uncomfortable. Push yourself. If you're looking for, if get uncomfortable, go, go execute on a real strategy today. You can start that on Facebook today. And those of you that are in my programs know that I encourage you to do that there because you can put your links all over everything. If your self image doesn't match your goals, elevate the perception, your perception of yourself by doing what you need to do to pre reprogram your brain. Ask yourself all the time, if you want to be Carla Silver, if you want to be, in my case, I wanted to be this Wendy Stevens chick. I'm like, I'd be asking myself, well, what would Wendy do in this situation? What would she do? Oh, she would do this. And oh, she, she told, tells herself all the time that she's the CEO of a multi-million dollar corporation. So I'm going to tell myself all the time that I'm a CEO of a multi-million dollar corporation. Who is that person that you're becoming? Make the choice to be her now. Is Can you be perfect at that? No. Stop playing small, speak up, say your mind, be active in Zooms, go to your events, meet the leaders, do what you need to do to network in the industry, to meet other people across other platforms. Don't just passively be a member of the Biz Academy or a Top Producer Mastermind or anybody else's programs thinking that somehow this will rub off on you. You must be actively, uh, actively doing this. Get the clarity and understanding that you need so that you're super clear on what it takes to, uh, to help someone so that you can help someone. Um, be enthusiastic, be excited about what you have, and then celebrate every single possible win. And I'm going to end on this. I am, or I'm not quite done. So let me just make a book recommendation. 
real quick. Um, uh, I haven't read the whole thing, but the beginning, uh, the first half of it is amazing. And it's, uh, you might have already read it. It's Mel Robbins' High Five Habit, I think it is. I, I just got the Kindle book uh, a little while ago. Super easy to read. This is a way for you to begin congratulating yourself and, and celebrating those wins and doing a very, very tiny little thing every single morning. She makes absolute sense. If you haven't read it, read it. Um, there's lots of other books that I, I could recommend, but I also want to say if you want to be um, uh, hear any more about this and the automation stuff that we really create um, in our top producer mastermind and how to really not just mindset, but the, the things that you must put in place to build that business of your dreams. I don't care about the money. It doesn't have to be 100K. It doesn't have to be millions of dollars. It, what you need to put in place over time, because you can't just do it in a day, what you need to put in place, join us uh, two Thursdays from now on the 25th of August. If you're watching this any other time, you can still comment lead in the comments. Comment lead in the comments because I will be doing this. Uh, I, I update this masterclass fairly consistently and I do it. Um, and so you'll be able to register, I'm quite sure. So Put lead in the comments if you want to take this to the next step. I hope, I hope, I hope I provided value to you today. I really, I just hate it when I see amazing people sitting on the sidelines of their business and not moving out into the uncomfortable, beautiful future that you have there for you. Like you, 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 you can, I believe you can do this. I know you can do this because I've seen homeless people go and create six figures. I've seen uneducated people go and create six figures because they, they created the knowingness and the certainty that they could lead inside. And then they got the skills that they needed. I've seen people from every walk of life of every single problem, uh, and not necessarily have to go dumpster diving like I did, but get out there and lead. Make those powerful decisions. Uh, get yourself uncomfortable. Make sure that you're networking with the, with, and you're speaking out on all the Zooms, all your team Zooms. Think of questions ahead of time. If that's what I did when I went to events. I'm like, I don't want it. Uh, I don't want to talk to anybody. So I made a bunch of questions. I made a little cheat sheet. These are the questions I'm going to ask Wendy Stevens. These are the questions that I'm going to ask Shannon Lavinia. These are the questions that I'm going to ask the top leaders so that I didn't have to like blah, 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 be a bumbling idiot along the way. I'm sure that I was. So if you have any questions, let me know in the chat. I will hang out for a while. If you're on YouTube, hit the subscribe button. I'm not sure which side it's on. I would love to be able to uh, serve you. I do do these lives usually every weekish. I'm just going to poke through. If there are any questions, I'm going to poke through the chat here for a second. Judy, I love my products and my business. I need to be on when I need it. I see a, I, a bunch. I love this. A bunch of leads. I see some ouches, some uncertainty. Okay, so again, if you are uncertain about any piece of your business, make sure it happens for you. All right, and make sure you get it handled. Excuse me. All right, guys, that's it. I'm done with my rant today. Um, let me see here. Get over myself. <laughs> All right, guys, that's it. I have here. I don't see any. I see some leads, and I don't see any questions. I hope you guys uh, have an amazing month. If you're not commenting here, I just want to know why. That might be a leadership thing where you might want, I'm not, I'm not putting you on the spot at all. That might be a leadership thing that you might want to uh, take care of. Love what I do. Um, 825, Judy, is my one year 200K masterclass. And you, if you put a lead in the chat, uh, Tiffany will get you an invitation. Karen, you are awesome. I will see you and talk to you a little later today. Hey, Stevie. That is great to be here. Hey, Sharon. I haven't talked to you in ages and pages. Um, you belong in our mastermind, my friend. All right, guys. I got to go. I got I got uh, holy pants 
crapola to do today and I got to get that stuff done because guess what? It's birthday months and a month and I have been um, in town, out of town, in town, out of town. So my team has a list a mile long of stuff for me to do. And I apologize for those of you that are that I cursed a lot, but I, I'm so passionate about this. Stand up and lead already. You got this and we got you. All right, guys. Big love for me to you. Have an amazing week. And if you have any questions, put them in the chat. I'll be here later. All right, bye. Bye, everyone.